All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? All the people in Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, all the way to Staten Island, my home bro, Brooklyn. Back out with another video. This is going to be another entry into the Greatest Games Ever series. You know, of course, this weekend coming up, we have the AFC and the NFC Championship game. So, most of the Greatest Games Ever, ever, ever series new intros are going to be you know, some of the greatest AFC and NFC Championship games in NFL history. And this one is going to be on the 2013 NFC Championship game. Play between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Okay, let's get into it. First, I'll give you a background on the Seahawks. You know, the Seahawks, you know, were a team on the rise. You know, they had been drafting well the previous the previous years. And, you know, they hired Pete Carroll, who was a two-time national championship head coach at USC. You know, in 2010, they drafted Cam Chancellor. 2011, they drafted Richard Sherman. Earl, I believe Earl Thomas also came in circa 2010. They brought Cliff Averill in in free agency. You know, they had Michael Bennett. They drafted him. He left to go to Tampa Bay. They brought him back. In 2012, they drafted this guy right here, number three, Russell Wilson. In 2012, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson led the Seattle Seahawks all the way to the NFC Division round when they faced the top seed Atlanta Falcons. And of course, the Seahawks were uh, eliminated by the Falcons. They, they were sent home early, but you know you could see they were a team on the rise. Now, I didn't expect them to rise as quick, rise as quickly as they did, become as dominant as they did. But, you know, they did it. They kind of surprised me. I won't say the rest of the NFL, but they surprised me definitely. You know, the San Francisco 49ers, they were also a team who kind of were on the rise at the same time. But they had a rose quickly. They hired Jim Harbaugh, who was also a college coach at Stanford. He coached Richard Sherman. He coached against Pete Carroll. You know, he was hired in 2011 to go to San Francisco 49ers, who had been struggling the previous years. They had number one overall pick Alex Smith from the 2005 draft. They had Frank the Tank Gore straight out the U. He, who was also drafted in 05. They had Vernon Davis, who they drafted in 06. Patrick Woods was brought in circa 07. In 2011, they drafted Alden Smith, who was a very good, great pass rusher. And with Jim Harbaugh in 2011, they went 13-3 and and got the number one seed in the NFC. After beating the New Orleans Saints on a miracle game-winning touchdown catch from Vernon Davis, they went to the, they, they hosted the NFC Championship game, and they lost to my team, the New York Football Giants. They lost 2017 in overtime. The next year in 2012... They went 11, 4, and 1. And they also they, they replaced Alex Smith with a young player they had drafted named Colin Kaepernick. And they went all the way to the Super Bowl. You know, after the Falcons beat the Seahawks in Atlanta, the 49ers came in and beat the, the Falcons in Atlanta. Seattle had lost, you know, um, San Francisco had won. So these two teams were linked together via the Atlanta Falcons. They went to the Super Bowl. That year, you no, know, they were and they got their asses kicked by the Ravens most of the game. I mean, they were up. The Ravens at one point were like what twenty eight to six. You know, after the blackout, the 49ers stormed back, and they lost on a controversial call. You know, Michael Crabtree some say he got interfered with by Jimmy Smith, the Ravens cornerback. Nonetheless, the, the Ravens took a safety. They had to punt the ball. Had to punt the ball, and that was it. The Niners had lost Super Bowl. The Ravens had won. So going into twenty thirteen, these two teams, you know, this is going to be a these were going to be two fun teams to watch, and they were destined to collide. They played in Seattle in the regular season. Seattle had beat them. They played in San Francisco towards the end of the season. San Francisco had beat them. You know, after the Kyle and Kaepernick put on a great performance against the Packers and the Seahawks dominated the New Orleans Saints, these two teams met in the NFC Championship game. And right away, everything went San Francisco's way. Alden Smith, you know, you talk about wasted potential, man. Alden Smith had wasted potential. You know, he had all these type of problems and... It's very sad to see what happened to him. But he strips sacked Russell Wilson early, which led to a 49er field goal. And then Navarro Bauman, the middle linebacker for the Niners, sacked Russell Wilson on third down, caused a turnover on downs, and the 49ers drove all the way down the field, which ended in a touchdown. And just like that, they were up 10 nothing. Seattle's kicker Steven H Steve Hauschka made a field goal to, end, to go into halftime at 10-3 in favor of San Francisco. And just like that, Seattle started to pick up some steam. No, beast mode. Marshawn Lynch broke for a 40-yard touchdown to tie the game. Then just like that, Colin Kaepernick hit Anquan Bolden, who had beaten them in the Super Bowl the year before with the Ravens, to give, to give the Niners a 17-10 lead. Then on and then on, on fourth down, the Seahawks had to go for it, and Russell Wilson hit Jermaine Curtis in the end zone for a touchdown, for a touchdown to give the the Seahawks lead. You no, know, Seattle had kicked a field goal after getting the 10 points. So this gave them a 20 to 17 lead. 
And then Cam Chancellor picked off Kaepernick, which set up a Steve Hauschka field goal. And just like that, the Seahawks were up 23-17, meaning the 49ers, if they can score a touchdown, they'll be on their way back to the Super Bowl. But the mighty Legion of Boom Seahawks defense, would, which had the number one total defense in the NFL, they were number one in interceptions, number one in tick, number one in points allowed, fewest yards allowed. They were just an overall dominant defense, you know. You know, it's funny, you know, Luke Keekley, not to get off topic, but Luke Keekley, the middle linebacker for the Panthers was Defensive Player of the Year. Richard Sherman should have been Defensive Player of the Year in 2013. That's just me, but it is what it is. We back to this. It was 23-17, late in the ball game, and then Colin Kaepernick threw to Michael Crabtree, who was in the back of the end zone, and Richard Sherman came up and tipped the ball. The ball, and it fell into the hands of number 53, the, the Malcolm Smith, and it was an interception, and the Seahawks had the ball back. <laughs> See, Michael Crabtree, punk ass. You know, Sherman's trying to dap him up. Talking about, hey, hell of a game. Hell of a game. Good game. Sherman's trying to be a good sport. You know, for as much shit as Richard Sherman talks, you got to give him credit for being a good sport. You know, you know, not to get off topic again, but, you know, when they lost that Super Bowl to New England, Sherman shook Tom Brady's hand and helped him up when Tom Brady took a knee. So, you know, you got to give Sherman credit. He seems to be really mature. I know that. I know that. I know people may not dis- I know people may disagree, but he seems to be really mat- mature. But you know, see Crabtree mushed him in his face, and that led to probably <laughs> one of the vo- the most viral moment of that of that NFL season. Sherm's interview with Aaron Andrews. He goes, uh, "I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're gonna get. Don't you ever talk about me, Aaron." <laughs> And, and Aaron Andrews, she looked, she looked a little shook. Who's talking about you? A Crabtree. Don't you open my mouth. The, don't you open your mouth about the best. I'm going to show up for you real quick. L-O-B. I'm done. And, you know, Richard Sherman had really, you know, to quote Skip Bayless, and we all know Skip doesn't like Richard Sherman and vice versa, but Richard kind of did talk his way to national pro- prominence circa 2012, 2013, but he backed it up. And, Look, I love Darrell Revis, but Richard Sherman was the best cornerback in the NFL. You no, know, Revis was hurt, and you know he was okay in Tampa. But you no, know, for tw- from twenty twelve to twenty fourteen, Sherman was the best cornerback in the NFL. Then I think Revis kind of took it back for a year, and then it went back to Sherman. You know, Patrick Peterson, then Ramsey rose to prominence. You know, so on and so forth. But Sherman is definitely a, fir- a, fir- a future first ballot Hall of Famer. But just like that. The game was over, and the Seattle Seahawks were going to their second ever Super Bowl in franchise history. They missed the Super Bowl years prior, Super Bowl 40, where they lost to Jerome Bettis and the Steelers. But <laughs> the Seattle just completely destroyed the Denver Broncos to win their first ever Super Bowl in franchise history. You know, and the 49ers, after this, they were never the same. They collapsed, and, you know, we don't, have, we don't got to get into all of that. But anyway, what do you think? Do you think it's one of the greatest games you've ever seen? This is definitely one of the greatest playoff games I've ever seen with my own two eyes in my lifetime. You know, it's probably the best NFC Championship game I've ever seen live. But, you know, you guys tell me in the comment section, what do you think? Click that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bells, help a young brother grow on YouTube. We'll see y'all.